Welcome back to your hometown angler. Welcome back for another video, you guys. I'd like you to think of me as your friendly hometown angler that you always see fishing the banks. So pull up a camp chair and get ready for me to show you stories from catching anything from tiny bluegill to massive sturgeon. I'll also be doing some gear reviews for you so that you can see your products and decide before you buy. So kick back, relax, enjoy yourself. And as always, thanks for stopping. Nice. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, I wanted to bring you guys back, show you my newest investment in ice fishing. Just picked up this clam drill plate. Before, I was just using a kind of cheap adapter, and uh, it finally failed me, and it fell to the bottom of the lake. Now, uh, the adapter didn't really fail me because it did come with a retaining plate, and uh, I had broke it, and I just had, hadn't bought a new one. So, it was my fault, and uh, I went to Fleet Farm to get a new cheap adapter with a retaining plate, and they didn't have any. All they had was the clam drill plate, so I did the old walk around Fleet Farm for an hour or two, and uh, just kidding, it didn't take that long, for a few minutes, and um, checked all the owls to make sure they didn't have them, and they didn't, so finally came around and realized I was going to have to buy this uh, clam auger drill plate. So this is just a plate, it comes with an option to uh, get a six inch auger and an extension. I couldn't find the extensions or I would have grabbed one, but uh, I decided not to go with their auger either. I am going to put another Strike Master Mora onto it. So you're probably asking, why didn't you just buy a K-drill? This is all just pretty much as expensive as a K-drill. And uh, the answer is I just didn't want to. <laughs> I think the uh, clam plate is still uh, kind of a better idea. I like the trigger option on the handle. And um, the Mora auger is just uh, quite a bit more inexpensive than the K-Drill, so probably what would be more superior to this would be a Strike Master light flight unit and the clam plate, but for now I'm just putting the Mora on there because they work great. So I got another 8 inch and I'm going to go through the install with this with you guys and then we're going to go out on the ice and test it out now. This says you can drill 700 inch device and that's what I'm going to do for you guys. We're going to head out there and drill 700 inches. So. Just kidding, but <laughs> hopefully you guys will enjoy the content nonetheless, and you'll like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping. Okay, I am back out at the lake now. So I have the drill installed onto the plate and I have the auger itself installed as well. Now, the installation was very simple. If you're the type of person that can put a uh, entertainment stand or a nightstand together using the instructions, then you'll be able to do this. I am using the DeWalt DCD 999 with a six amp flex volt battery. And uh, I'll just show you guys how this attaches. It's just got a attachment here that goes onto the auger and uh, that goes into a chuck at the top and it's just got two retaining clips that hold it in and then uh, to actually use the drill it's got a, a paddle here that will manipulate the trigger and then you pull a this lever which is right here so you pull that manipulates the trigger so this is going to be my first time using the clam plate uh, with the drill and I'm going to pull the safety cover off the mora right now and I'll step back and we'll drill a few holes, we'll uh, time them and I'll let you guys know what I think. Here we go, hole one on full speed. Wow, 
that's a big improvement. One of the things that I noticed right away is that I'm a lot more confident with this. I'm not worried about the dropping that uh, auger down the hole as much as I was before. And uh, I'm definitely not worried about it spinning and breaking my wrist and my arm. So let's try another one. Before, I never really wanted to run the drill on full speed because I was worried about that kickback. Now I'm 100% confident to just really let that thing rip and uh, get some holes in the ice. Wow, what an improvement. So overall, I say that yes, this is an excellent investment. I should have just went with this in the first place and not been so stubborn and listen to a lot of my uh, subscribers and a lot of my Facebook friends about on this one. So this is really an excellent investment. I would recommend it to anybody that wants to go this route. Um, if you're asking yourself why not just get an electric auger or a K drill, I'd probably ask myself that same question. Um, the only thing I can think of is that you're like me and you like finicking around with stuff like this. So if you do, and uh, if you're looking at this setup, then go for it, pull the trigger. Especially if you could get yourself a used auger or if you could get yourself the auger and the plate used, that would probably be really good. Um, so don't shy away from it on this unit. So if you guys have any questions, drop that in the comment box. And uh, if you like the com content, please like, comment, subscribe. We're getting our subscriber count up there. I'm gonna have the 100 subscriber giveaway happening soon. I know that uh, we're a little bit past the mark, so hopefully you guys will forgive me. And as always, thanks for stopping. Nice.